Welcome, Somos. I am so excited that you are tuning in today to our midweek service, Church at Home. What an incredible time we're living in that we get to tune in online from the comfort of our homes. I want to encourage you, if you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure that you do that today. We need 100 subscribers to be able to access so many more uh, Uh, things on YouTube that we want to be able to do and we're five subscribers away from doing that so after you watch this video if you're not subscribed help us out and subscribe today comment on our chat our live chat is happening right now let us know your thoughts and then at the end of this share this video with somebody that you love Well, Somos, we had our first Easter together this past Sunday, and let me tell you, it was an incredible time together. People made decisions to follow Jesus, and it was awesome to see all that God did, even through our online gatherings. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sharing the message of hope to your friends and your family. I'm super pumped for connect groups happening this Thursday. Come on, say it out loud. This Thursday. We've been having them for the past couple of weeks, and they have been incredible. I'm already hearing stories of people connecting. And, you know, connect groups, it's it's an opportunity to connect with one another. It's an opportunity to talk with like-minded people um, and just get some encouragement, get some prayer, get some things off of your chest. So if you are not connected today, make sure that this Thursday you tune in. There are no excuses. It's in the evening and it's only 40 minutes. So you want to make sure you tune in. We have two men's groups, three women's groups. We have youth groups, young adult groups. And there's no excuse why you're not connected. So make sure that you take that step this week. We'll see you in connect groups. And uh, also don't Don't forget that this Sunday uh, we are continuing with our church at home. You want to make sure you tune in. And now let's go back to an incredible time of worship. I encourage you to lean in, open up your heart, because I know that God wants to speak to you today. What's up, Somos? Welcome to team night. We're so excited. See you guys. Don't forget, we are building a legacy in the city of El Paso. Be a part of it. But first, let's give God some glory and sing to him.
Come on, let's worship with all we got. So why are you heavens? Let the praise go up as the walls come down. All creation, everything with breath, repeat the sound. All the children, clean as pure hearts, good grace, good God. His name is Jesus. That's right. Come on, swing wide. Swing wide. Are you heavens? Let the praise go up as the walls come down. Our creation. Everything with breath. Repeat the sound. All his children. Clean and pure. It's good grace, good God. His name is Jesus. wide are you heavens let the praise go up as the walls come down our creation everything with breath repeat the sound all his children clean as pure good grace good god his name is jesus incredible time of worship we just had. Don't you just love that we can pop up the volume and just sing our hearts out to Jesus? If you're not doing that, I encourage you to do that today. Uh, Right now, I want to take a couple of moments to just thank every single one of you for your generosity. During this time, I know that a lot of you have made some financial sacrifices, but as a church, as your pastors, we just want to say that we are so proud of you for staying faithful with your tithes and with your offerings despite what is going on in our world today. You know, there is a verse in the Bible that says, where your heart is, there your treasure is also. And I am so excited excited and pumped to know that a lot of families in our church, your heart is to truly serve and love God. Thank you for expressing that through your giving. We are so, so honored and excited for what God is going to do through your financial partnership with us and with him today. You know, we have the opportunity uh, in the next couple of weeks to be able to go into UMC Hospital and provide a uh, meals for the the staff, uh, specifically in the IC units. This week, they are opening up an IC unit dedicated with patients just uh, uh, with COVID. And so we are doing our best because next week, early next week, we're going to go and deliver some meals. And so uh, we are excited about that. And also we've partnered with the uh, Ronald McDonald home here in our city. And we're taking uh, one meal 
to all the families. We're taking pizza uh, once a week. And so we have, um, you know, some stuff that they've asked us if we can donate a list of items. And we want to include you in this. We would love for you to partner with us to be able to make these uh, things happen. And so we have a tab on our website uh, under giving. If you want to do anything, um, you know, above and beyond your tithes and your offerings, you can do so. Just click the link that says Somos Outreach. You'll be able to give there and all of that will go straight to the meals and to making an impact in our city. Thank you, Somos, for your generosity. We love you and we honor you today. Sing one thing. One thing I desire, only this I seek, just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. This will be my posture, laying at your feet, just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. Father, closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful you are. Dearest Father, my closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful. One thing I desire. I see just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. And this will be my posture, laying at your feet. Just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. Dearest Father. This friend, most beautiful, most beautiful, you are, you are, dearest Father, my closest, closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful, there are no ones, there's nothing left, so I Never be the same, that's right, with just 
Welcome to Selmos. We're so excited that you're joining us this beautiful Tuesday night. Thank you so much for coming in, tuning in, investing in your heart and your soul and your emotional, spiritual health. We believe that as we tune in every single week, our lives will just get better and better. The more we invest in us, there's a reflection that will come out in our lives. So thank you so much for investing in your life. Can someone say yes to that? You know, years ago, many years ago, uh, my wife and I used to live in D.C. Uh, we moved there to help some friends of ours, our pastors now, uh, to start a church. And, uh, you know, while we were doing that, I was working at FedEx. And every single morning, you know, I would drive to the warehouse, get to the warehouse. I was a delivery driver. And, and we would get there. And I had my truck. And they would load my truck. And once they were done loading the truck, they would give me um, the, the inventory of all the packages that I had to deliver for the day. Now, this was a daily thing. Every day I would get this inventory of all the packages that I had to deliver every single day. In a way, it was kind of like my mission for the day. You know, I had around 150 packages that I had to deliver daily. And once I would deliver all my packages, I would call it a day. That was the end of my day. I would feel accomplished. And obviously, the faster I would do it, the more focused I was, the more effort I put in it, I would get off earlier, you know? And that was just my daily routine as a FedEx delivery driver. Now, every morning I would get in this truck and I would start delivering. It doesn't matter how I felt that day. If I was having a good day or a bad day, I had to deliver all my packages. If I was having a, a good day, beautiful, sunny, 150 packages every day, my mission needed to be accomplished. If it was a rainy, cold day, I still had to accomplish my mission for the day. If I had a, a hard time that morning or a day before, good times, bad times, if I felt like it, if I didn't feel like it, I couldn't stop in the middle of my day and say, you know what? I'm done. I give up. I had to deliver the packages. It was my mission. It was my responsibility. 
And I know every single one of us, we have different responsibilities. We have different missions. And I just want to encourage you and remind you today that doesn't matter what you have on your plate today, don't give up. I want to remind you today that the things that God has placed in your hands, in your life, it's God. God has given you a mission. God has given you a vision. God has given you a calling. God has given you a purpose. God has given you the responsibilities that you have in your hands. I want to encourage you today, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't be afraid and secure. You have this. If he's calling you to do all the things that he's calling you to do, if he has called you to that marriage, to that family, to those friendships, to a walk of, of, of life, of following Jesus, he will back you up. He doesn't only call you, but he also equips you. And he doesn't only equip you, he will be with you in the good times, in the bad times, in the hard times, in the easy times. He is always with you. You know, in Philippians 3, Paul is writing to this church in, in, in Philippi. And in his letter, he starts it off in a really interesting way. He starts talking about all the things that God has called him to do throughout his lifetime. He starts writing all of his accomplishments, all of his missions, all of the things that he has done. He starts just writing about them. You know, and at the end of, the, of this letter, or the transition of this letter, where he's writing all of his accomplishments in Philippians 3.12, 3, 12, that's where we're going to be reading. He, he says, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. But I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us. And what a powerful words here. I know there's so many things that you and I, we have accomplished. I know you've done so many things in your life this far. And we can pr be proud of those accomplishments. We can celebrate those things. But my challenge for us today is that we cannot celebrate all of these accomplishments. Be proud of all of these accomplishments and just settle. Come on, if there's someone next to you, tell them right now, don't settle. It's so easy to see all the things that we've done in our lives, seeing how much effort and work we've put in into every single thing that we've lived. It's so easy to see all of those things and create our comfort zones and stay there. It's so easy to see our marriages, our relationships, our friendships, and see how well we've done and just be comfortable and don't put more effort in developing new relationships, new friendships, or making our marriages and our relationships healthier. It's so easy to create our comfort zones and stay there. I want to remind you, you have a mission, you have a vision from God, you have a calling from God. We all have dreams and things that God wants to create through us. And those things rarely happen in our comfort zones. Today, I want to challenge you the way Paul is challenging every single one of us. I've done all of this. I've accomplished all of these things. We celebrate. But we need to be self-aware enough to know that we have not achieved all of these things yet. There's more to come. There's more ahead. There's more things that God has in store for you and for me. And every 
in every single area of our lives. We need to recognize today that we need to press on. Come on, let me encourage you today. Press on. Let me challenge you today. Press on. Come on, look to someone around you and say, press on. Come on, put in the chat right now, press on, press on. I need to press on. My first point today is what things do you need to press on? What are the areas in your life that you've created your own comfortable world that you need to press on? For some of us, let me challenge you and break it down really simple today. Some of us were so terrified of plugging into a connect group and God is telling you, hey, press on. On. You need new relationships. You need new friendships. You need to connect with people that are following Jesus. Get into a community that you're going to grow and they're going to grow with you. Press on. Come on. Where have you settled? In your marriage maybe? Have you settled in your, ma- in your marriage and you've just stayed comfortable and you stopped pursuing, investing, shaking things up, spicing things up, putting candles or something, right? And your kids and your parenting, have you settled? Have you settled in being the parent that God has called you to be? In your career at work, have you settled? Have you settled and just started being complacent with your work and not have the work ethic that God has called you to do? I believe work ethic is this. It's not only doing what it's required of us, but it's always going the extra mile. That's where we tap into God's calling when we go the extra mile at school. Come on, some of you students, because of all of this situation, you've just been slacking it. You've just stayed complacent and created your own comfort zone to be on TikTok or on YouTube or wherever it is that you go to in games. And you've just created your complacent, your comfort, your comfort zone. And God's calling you today to press on. Invest in yourself. Come on, read some books. Read some stuff. Get inspired. Develop your 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 brain to be intelligent and smarter. Where have you settled your responsibilities at school, in your drive, in your dreams, in your calling, in your vision, in your mission? Have you settled today? I believe with all my heart that it's inside of you to press on. I know you have it in you. Press on. Don't give up. There's more on the inside of you that you give your self credit to. There's discipline on the inside of you. There's work ethic on the inside of you. There is discipline on the inside of you. There's drive, dreams, aspirations, vision on the inside of you. Come on, someone say that with me. I know. I have it within. You have it within. God has it on the inside of you. My next point today, it's forget the past and look forward. Forget the past and look forward. You know, Paul says here, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it yet, but I focus, focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward. Listen to this. Paul is saying here, I focus on this one thing, but he's really talking about two things. I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward. Paul is saying here, If you want to go ahead, you need to forget the past. It's the same. They're they're connected. Forgetting the past and looking forward is connected. God is calling you to press on. God is calling you for you to recognize the mission that you have ahead in your life, the things that you've settled, the things that you need to break free and challenge yourself. And he's saying here, the way to do that, it's one thing. Forget the past and look forward. You need to stop carrying into your present and your future the past. You've brought it a whole lot of times. You live with your past way more than you need. 
And, and let me break it down in this way. I could, I could go into, you know, our hurts, which is important, and letting go of some things. But the way I want to focus today is your vision, your mission, your calling. Some of you, you are carrying a vision, a mission, calling, dreams that you had maybe 10 years ago. And you're still living those out today. I believe that God is calling us today to a fresh start to say, I know God in the vision, mission and calling that you've given me. There's a new today. I am more mature today than I was five years ago when I had that mission, that vision, those dreams. I know that the dream that I had back then, it's going to look a little bit different today. So God, I let go of that. I let go of that so that I can embrace the new vision that you have for me, the new mission that you have for me. I'm open today, God, for you to speak some new things into my heart. I'm open today for you to call me into new things, into better things, to the way I approach life. We've put so much focus into the material things in life, and I believe that's part of the old. And God's saying, hey, Hey, that is okay. That is fine. But let go of that so that I can give you some things that matter. Come on. God wants you to let go for you to hold on to some things that matter. Let go of some dreams and visions and allow, allow God to speak some new things in your life. What are you looking forward in your marriage? What are you looking forward as a parent? What are you looking forward in your friendships? What are you looking forward in your relationship with God? Your relationship with God can look the same as it looked two years ago. Just attending church and going to church. God wants you to participate and to embrace the new that he's calling you to do. Come on, if I could shake you up right now and tell you it's time to look forward to some new things, godly things, better things, because let me remember mind us about something. God knows what he is talking about. God knows what he wants for us. God knows what's best for us in every single area of our lives. So let's trust him today as we press on, as we let go of the past and we look forward. My third and last thing today to wrap it up today. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on. Don't give up. I know life gets hard. I know marriage gets hard. Parenting gets hard. Being with your parents gets hard. I know work gets hard. School gets hard. I know in every single area of our life, it gets hard. But you have a mission right there where you're at. You have a vision from God right there where you're at. You have a purpose from God right there where you're at and you cannot stop until you do the things that God's calling you to do. Come on, look forward because God has some new ways for you to approach the things that you have in your life. Come on, you have a mission in every single area and that is to approach, approach, approach it with godliness, with purpose, with a new vision And that's how our lives just completely change and break free from the routine of stuff we've lived on for a long time. With God, pressing on, letting go of the past and looking forward happens by just not giving up. Every day at a time, every step at a time, every circumstance at a time, every challenge at a time. He's going to walk all of those things with you. Don't give up because he is with you. He is for you. The Bible says that the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead lives on the inside of us. Don't give up. Life gets hard, but don't give up. I want to encourage you today. It's in you. Press on. Let go. Look forward. Just don't give up. Put in the work in your marriage, relationships, friendships, but more important, in your relationship with God. If we focus on our relationship with God, every single area as a consequence will be affected in a positive way by us 
pressing on in our relationship with God, letting go of the past in our relationship with God, looking forward in our relationship with God, not giving up in our relationship with God. Somos, I love you. I believe in you. I know that there's greater things on the inside of you that you even think or imagine. And I am excited to see everything that God's going to do in the next months as we're walking this thing out together. We're praying for you. We believe in you. Reach out, connect with your connect groups and right now we're going to pray and wrap this up thank you god so much for who you are we thank you for the great and beautiful god that you are that in the middle of the darkest times you're right there with us we thank you that you are a god that's a miracle worker that you move mountains god and i just pray today that if anyone's feeling super low that something will just come on the inside of them they will rise up and break free from the things that the enemy has meant for evil because you have some beautiful things that you want to turn them to good in their lives god thank you that all things work together for good for those who are in christ jesus and i believe today that there's just there's a shift happening in every single person watching today we thank you god that we're going to hear testimonies of all the incredible things that you're about to do in our lives through our lives through somos church in the city of El Paso. amen love you